What's up, LHS? Welcome back to your Blue Devil News. I'm Jackson. And I'm Garrett. We only have 10 days until graduation. Please go by guidance and fill out your information sheet so that guidance will know where to send your final transcripts after graduation. Castle Hassle, Moving Up Pepper Alley, and Field Day have been moved to Thursday, May 9th, and Senior, senior Takeover Day is on May 13th. You can receive your pink permission slip from the teacher or staff member that you will be taking over. Slips must be signed and turned in to Mr. Perrier in B112 no later than May 9th. Seniors, if you attended Sam Houston Elementary School, they would like to honor you with a reception on Tuesday, May 14th. See info on the board across from the cafeteria or in guidance. AP Macro Review is held every Monday and Wednesday in B112 with Mr. Perrier. If you are unable to attend, you can schedule a different time with Mr. Per year after school. Choir auditions for next year will begin May 14th. See Ms. Fitzgerald in A704 for more information. Do you need a sports physical? From now until August 31st, visit any local Care Now Urgent Cares and get your physical for only $20. The closest one is over by Publix and no appointment is needed. Now let's turn to Ian for sports. What's up, LHS? I'm Ian, this is your sports news. NASCAR is going strong. Today at the Dover International Speedway, a race is taking place right now. The race started at 11. This race was supposed to take place over the weekend, but due to weather, the race has been postponed to today. Now here's your professional baseball update. Yesterday, the Braves defeated the Marlins. The final score was 3-1. This game went into extra innings. The Braves scored two runs in the 10th, holding out the Marlins for the sweep. Today, they begin a three-game series with the Dodgers. The first game starts at 9 tonight. Yesterday, the Cardinals lost to the Cubs. The final score was 13-5. The Cubs were in control through pretty much the whole game. They scored six runs in the eighth inning. While the Cardinals did score three runs in the ninth, it wasn't near enough to come back. Today, they begin a three-game series with the Phillies. The first game starts tonight at 7. Yesterday, the Reds lost to the Giants. The final score was 6-5. In the top of the ninth, Brandon Crawford hit a two-run homer to put the Giants ahead. The Reds scored one run in the bottom of the ninth, but it wasn't enough. Today, the Reds take on the Giants in the last game of the four-game series. Tomorrow, they begin a three-game series with the Oakland Athletics. Yesterday, the Sounds played a doubleheader against Memphis. The first game, they lost 2-11. The second game, they won 7-5. Tonight, they play Memphis again. The game begins at 6.30. Tomorrow, they begin a four-game series with the Oklahoma City Dodgers. Now for college baseball. Yesterday, the UT baseball team lost to Missouri. Final score was 8-10. to They take on Austin P tomorrow at 5. Yesterday as well, Vandy's baseball team defeated South Carolina. Final score was 6-2. to They will take on Louisville tomorrow night at 6. As you may recall, our rugby football club had a pretty successful season this year. So successful, in fact, our very own senior, Parker Birch, was given a scholarship to MTSU. Take a look. That to go on and endeavor, I mean, and, and uh, keep his uh, uh, academics going over in college. I know he did well. I know he had an AP test this morning. Uh, they had to reschedule just for this. So if you're taking AP classes, she must be a pretty smart individual, so I can get that right. <laughs> um, like I said, we are proud of him. Uh, Coach Hammerstick, uh, you got a few words you would like to say? Please? Uh, yeah, I was really excited when Parker came out to play rugby, and he really improved a lot over the over the season. In our last game against Blackburn, I bet, I bet he made 30 tackles. It was an unbelievable amount of tackles. And he was uh, not going to let them score. Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, Parker. Thank you, Thank you. Jonathan I'm the head coach for MTSU Rugby. Um, so the way I found out about Parker was kind of unique. So I first heard about him through an email through the head coach for Riverdale High School. And then I got another email from Coach Haverstick um, about Parker. And it's hard for us to get game film on these guys. So a lot of our signings are just word of mouth. When you hear about a guy who's leading in football and tackles, and you hear about a guy who's leading his team in tackles and rugby, I need to hear less. I can teach an offensive aspect of it. We can teach it the attack. But just being able to stick your nose in there and make tackles one after another. And for you football guys, you take all the pads off, it's pretty tough. Man. Uh, but we're super excited to have Parker. I know he's uh, got a high GPA and one of his Navy classes. It's kind of
kind of guy with a high character, high work ethic that we're looking for. So we're extremely happy. We want to thank uh, Lebanon for letting us come out and make the signing today. So what we're going to do next, we're going to make it official. Mark, you'll get the signing, put the hat on, and we got you locked in, brother. <laughs> Congratulations, Parker. That's all I have for you, LHS. I'm Ian, and this has been your Sports News. Thanks, Ian. Final exams will be administered on May 22nd and 23rd. Students may leave campus after exams with a written parent permission slip. Students are responsible for bringing the parent note to the main office before the 20th. The math lab is open from 2.30 to 3.15 in A104. If you need any help with math class, stop by. Students can bring homework, quizzes, practice problems, notes, or anything else they need help with. Skills USA will have its final meeting of the year on Wednesday, May 8th, after school. Any members interested in running for an officer position next year should pick up an application from Mr. Lakeman and plan to give their campaign speech at the meeting. HOSA Peach Sale is going on now through May 19th. This is a huge fundraiser for our organization, and your support of this event is greatly appreciated. The last video club meeting for the school year will be on Tuesday, May 7th from 2.20 to 4 o'clock in room B303. Well, that's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Walt. And I'm Preston. And this has been, been new to see you from the white and blue.